how to turn off Gemini on a Samsung phone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to completely disable Gemini on your Samsung phone. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So the first step to disabling Gemini completely on your Samsung phone is going to be to either uninstall or disable the Gemini app. So to find Gemini, simply swipe up and then you just wanna swipe until you see the Gemini app right there. Long press the app and then select the I next to the name up there. Once you do that, it'll bring you to the app info. And first at the bottom, you should be able to see either disable or uninstall. You may have to select for stop first, but go ahead and select whatever options available. I only have the option to disable it. I can't uninstall it, unfortunately. So select disable and then confirm you do want to disable this app. It'll stop it from running in the background and running on your phone. So once we've done that, that's the first step to disabling Gemini. As you can see, if I hold down the power button, it'll still open up Gemini on my phone, even though I've disabled the app. So to turn that off, we need to open up the settings on our Samsung. We do that by swiping up and then just finding the settings and opening it up. Once the settings open, scroll down until you get to advanced features, select advanced features, and then select side button. Now simply select long press, and we just wanna make sure that we select power off menu rather than digital assistant. You can change to a different digital assistant if you have one by selecting the gear, but I'm just gonna turn that off completely. So now if I hold the power button, it'll bring up the power menu rather than Gemini. So now that we've done that, there's a couple other steps we need to take. First, go back to the main page of the settings. And what I recommend doing is searching at the top and then just typing Gemini. You'll see Gemini settings come up, go in here, and then basically go through these some of them will open up a browser to your Google account, but go through these such as the Hey G right here, and you just wanna to toggle them off. So toggle all of these off as much as you can. Some of these such as screen context, you can open that one up. And unfortunately you can't switch away from Google here, but we can turn this off and that will stop it from actually analyzing our screen. You could go into contact info. We can turn off Gemini on our lock screen completely right there. And you basically just wanna select these and turn them off as much as you can. Now, this last one, Digital Assistant from Google, what I recommend doing is selecting this. And in here, what I recommend doing is selecting Google Assistant. So we can switch to Google Assistant. And then from there, we actually have the ability to turn off Google Assistant on our phone. So you'll completely disable Gemini and disable Google Assistant. So if you want Google Assistant, you can leave it on as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Google Assistant, go ahead and select Switch, and you can read through that for more information. And now we've selected Google Assistant rather than Gemini, we basically disabled Gemini. If you wanna go further and disable Google Assistant, select the home button and go back to the main screen here. Then we just wanna swipe up and find Google. So it might be in the Google apps, select Google. Once the Google app opens, select your profile image in the top right, and then select settings at the bottom. Once in the settings, select Google Assistant, then scroll down until we see general, select general, and then all you need to do is toggle off Google Assistant, confirm you wanna turn it off, and now you've fully disabled Gemini and Google Assistant on your Samsung phone. If this video helps you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.